Every morning starts with setting the laser, yep. which is a slow process. This morning we're back to work on sill plates. Our goal yesterday was to get these sill plates on, but the first sill plate probably took the better part of three hours just because when we put two layers of sill seal on and set the sill plate up there and kind of got going on it, it dawned on us that this is going to be more complicated than we thought because the sill plate needs to be level in every direction. So lengthwise, side to side. Because once the eye joist set on there, if the plate's not level, our eye joists are going to go like this down the wall. And so will the underlayment and so will the timber frame that's going on top. So not acceptable. So right at the end of our video last night in the dark, we actually put a second sill plate on just to kind of test the overall condition of our top of wall. And everything has tolerances. Our wall was really, really close. Like so close, we were kind of freaked out. Thought we'd like triple check it with something, some other board or something. But these sill plates that we're using, which are single sawn, pressure treated ground contact, uh, four by 12s, they're also not perfect. There's tolerance there. And so when we set these plates up here on the butt joint, there's a very small gap. And so I think we're gonna just proceed on with getting the sill plates installed and kind of see how the overall looks. Uh, and then make a decision about how to get the joints in the sill plates to look correct. Anytime you have a material like this, you're gonna have very slight inconsistencies. There's maybe an eighth of an inch back there that's different, which is funny because out here, dimensionally, they're identical, but this, this board tapers off toward the edge. And I can see, it's very difficult to see on camera, no doubt, but down by that ladder, this board actually changes thicknesses. I don't know why we didn't spot that when we bought the lumber. But the big problem is that this plate is slightly tilted up. Shimming will help, but ultimately shimming this side, if the other side won't go down, will end up in uh, raising this plate, which is not ideal because this plate we're using for our reference. So as you can see, we've got a pretty good day ahead of us. A lot of problem solving and working together. That's all, of course, on top of the reality that these plates are ridiculously heavy. And the net result yesterday was to put them up there with the backhoe. You ready to do big, heavy, challenging thinking problems today? I don't know. Do I have an option? Nope. Then I guess I'm ready. All right. One of the struggles we had when trying to verify our top of wall was the, the length of a straight board. Watch your toes. Whoa, watch your eyeballs. The length of straight boards over here was pathetic. I mean, our lumber is just crap. So using it as a reference was just never gonna work. But now we've got an engineered product here that is nice and flat. So we're going to try lifting one of these up and try to use it to check, whoops, check for level. And hopefully we'll get a more accurate representation before we get the sill plates up there. What's really hard to tell is the foam is making it nearly impossible to see our high and low spots in the wall. And of course, there's both high and low in the length and the width of the wall, which makes it really hard to tell what's going on. It's looking pretty flat. I mean, there's definitely some high spots. So I'm definitely sitting on this X here and it's, you can tell because how wobbly this is, it's free spanning all the way to you. So it thinks this is high. Mm -hmm. So from there to about there. Turns out we do get to use our new angle grinder. We just got off the phone with our engineer to kind of talk about some of the inconsistencies in the wall and the sill plate, trying to help us understand if we're being crazy or if we really do need to be this worried about getting things absolutely perfect. And I think he said probably exactly what I thought is that it needs to be pretty close, but it doesn't need to be perfect and you don't need to obsess. Um, and even hearing that, it's hard for us to know when to not worry about a quarter of an inch because we don't understand exactly how it's going to impact us. Truth of the matter is if we make this dead perfect, the next phase, those materials aren't going to be perfect either. So that's the, that's the bitter reality is that every single material has a tolerance. So if you get one material perfect, the very next stage you're gonna be off. Yep. There's just nothing but it doesn't do mean about. don't try to fix anything. It just means like make reasonable efforts to make it pretty dang good and then move on, I guess. Yep.
I almost feel like we should do this to the whole freaking wall. Really? Just go around and just knock all the high spots off. Because there's a lot of just little lips and stuff like that from floating. It's so fast to just go around and knock all those little lips off. Sorry, camera. Thing's so dirty. Oh. <laughs> Better? Oof. It's looking pretty good. Still high? Just the squeak. That's flat, y'all. Seal. Uh -oh. Looks like we're out of Soul Seal. Forgot to put it on the to buy list so it didn't get bought yesterday. So I think that will finish this beam and then we're out. Yeah, it's huh. four, so these are probably what 50 foot rolls. You can see we have an entirely new problem. Working in the rain is probably gonna become something that we do frequently. It's really not bad. I'd prefer rain, I think, over heat. I have my winter gloves on. They have like kind of a waterproof hand, so my hands are staying warm. It's not that it's cold out here, but once you get wet, you can get very miserable. So Here's where proper clothing becomes really important. We're ready to lift the next sill plate on. Jesse is running around with grocery bags covering anything that's important, like our camera, probably the laser level. I think it's weather resistant, but it's probably not a good idea for it to get just pounded with rain for hours. Um, looks like Jesse's ready, so let's get the sill plate lifted. This one we're gonna lift up there and then we're gonna drag it. Yeah, we're gonna slide it down and then we'll have to like slowly work together to turn okay. that corner. We're ready to move it down, down, down. I think so. Alright. Cross my mind to use a piece of pipe. Thoughts? A little two inch piece of pipe it'll roll it'll take a little effort to keep the pipe straight but it'll just literally roll right down the wall good oh yeah oh yeah i'm keeping an eye on everything okay nice and slow nice and slow We got this Gigantor, the sill beam installed. It's been pretty challenging filming. It's raining, it's been raining pretty hard. So that's not really fun to film in. And then this has been pretty like treacherous. We had to, we used some pipe, we rolled it down the wall and then we kind of shimmied it diagonally and finally got it into place. But um, we'll try to show you guys more maybe on that wall. I'm gonna run to the hardware store. They close in a few hours. We have to get like eight more rolls of sill seal. Someone told Jesse they were 150 feet per roll, not 50 feet per roll, which is like a huge difference. So I'm gonna do that. Jesse's gonna stay here. He's gonna work on squaring up the next sill plate and I think notching a spot for the beam or the steel beam to go. Each time we put a sill plate on, it's important for us to just confirm that we're where we need to be with height in case there's some issue that we need to address, like <clears throat> leveling. As long as the plate's level and overall it's level, then we're golden.
Good thing I wasn't flying the drone just now. That's pretty low. I think this is a great chance to break out the Zorin. Just see if we remember how to use it or not. Something else I could do while Alyssa's gone is try to get this LSL over here and kind of do what we did on this wall and try to figure out if we have any really grossly out of level spots or anything. All this um, engineered lumber and stuff, everything we're using is really thick. I don't know, it's something that's always attracted me to timber framing. Not that this is timber framing, but just about, I don't know, the timber framing mindset. Things just seem to kind of have this like strength to them. They're almost overbuilt, you know? So kind of like that about a lot of these elements that we're using. Everything seems to be big and quality and all that nice stuff. pretty good. Now I'm just curious if it's level because I know we had a low spot in here. We already knew that. Marked that with a big circle and our high spots down there. Just curious if this is level. Alyssa's back. She bought every inch of foam they had. Well, the level says stinking level. So I think we're good to proceed on this one. Can you tell me if I'm good? Just, just, just chill, chill. I think I just started reefing on it over here. <laughs> I think you need to push your side, right? <sighs> Go pipes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Did you see it coming? Uh, I didn't see it because I'm up here, but I knew that was a potential. Okay. It's always good to risk your life for a pipe. Okay. Good. Good? Oh, it looks good. Yep. yep. I think we're getting a system down. Oh, well, it's just, yeah. These are those bits we got at the garage sale for like $2. Fire in the hole! Woohoo! That's what that it always a, gets. That was me. a good one. I always think my face is far enough back that it never is. <laughs> Ooh, that <laughs> one's got quite the concrete wow. geyser.
ready to head your way? Okay. Okay, coming your way. Okay, good. Watch your fingers. Fingers clear. Okay. Okay, good. Yep. test what well that's about it for the day putting these stills on is going a lot slower than we thought it would be but that's kind of how everything is right that said we're really proud that we got pretty much the entire top of the basement plated. And hopefully tomorrow we can work on some of the more complex stuff. We have the corners coming out towards the garage and we also have the vertical sill plates. I think they're still called sill plates. We're doing some cleanup before nightfall hits. We didn't get to that in the daytime yesterday. Any thoughts on the day, Jesse? Huge success. Not bad, we're not getting full eight hour days lately. I don't know, we're just getting material runs and I don't know. Yep. But overall, I would say we're rolling. I, This is what I thought we could do in a day. Yep. I, I probably wasn't well, wrong. It's one we of our first in... good full days. I mean, yeah. I still had to run to the hardware store, but. Yeah, but we didn't even, I don't even know what time we started today, maybe 11. Yeah, I think There's 10, 30, 10. Other stuff going on, you know, window, door elevations. Mm -hmm. So I would say this is, I was actually right, I think. I feel good about that. I think we were, I was right that we could get this done in a day and we did. Just took two days to put in eight hours worth of work each. Yeah. Um, I think it was fantastic. Once we got rolling, I mean, you were able to blow through, you know, I mean, you're running the hammer drill. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. And as fast as I can get things put together and up. So we'll slow down now that we're kind of to the, some more of the intricate stuff. This is exciting. I think is exciting. I think our goal of trying to be done with the floor by October 1st is not We're I think it could happen. It, it's still possible. It's very possible. It's not that it will happen, but it's still possible. <laughs> no, good job today. Yep, you too. Deserve some hot food, hot yep. shower, and cold ice cream? Yeah. All my gloves got completely soaked today. Gloves, I dry them out in front of the wood stove, but it's not that cold yet, so I don't know, maybe I'll put them in front of the heater. Just absolutely drenched. Need to find some waterproof gloves or something. Well, not waterproof, like that's rubber. Yeah, waterproof sucks. <laughs>